Well, we are very excited for the start of the 2023 stadium and Eddie D Field Stadium will have a new look this year. We have a new parking lot in right field along with a brand new fence and padding and an all new digital scoreboard. So uh, hopefully everyone will be able to come out to Eddie D Field Stadium and see the, the new look and support the waves. And this year we have a, a tough non-conference schedule to start out. We start out with Boston College for a three game series. Then we have Alabama coming in for a three game series and then we will go on the road to South Alabama for a tournament and then we will return home and play Cal State Fullerton in our last non-conference weekend uh, before the start of conference. Pitching staff, we have a lot of, a lot of depth coming back. Um, I'll start with our, our fifth year guys. We have Trevor Niskern who is a fifth year in grad school and he's been pitching extremely well. He'll have a chance to be on the weekend rotation. Jack Baird is also a fifth year, um, continues to develop, will be one of our main pieces out of the bullpen. He might close games for us. He'll come in uh, in the most important spots in the game and, and get the last few outs for us. And then we have uh, Shane Telfer and Brandon Llewellyn and Tommy Scavoni also competing for those uh, weekend, weekend starting positions. One of our main guys coming back, John Peck, um, super athletic shortstop, had a tremendous year last year, hit 360-ish, uh, but really could hit 400 as hard as he was hitting the ball. All year long, he'll play shortstop for us. Greg Melhoff, um, another fifth year, had a tremendous fall and is picking right back up um, pre-spring. He'll either be at third base or first base, uh, depending on what lineup is going to be best for us. And uh, outfield, Grant Shane had another uh, tremendous fall, continues to improve. Connor Bradshaw um, and a newcomer, Lincoln Oriana, um, probably in right field, but we have a lot, of, a lot of moves we can make. We can move some guys to the infield and move guys around to get our best lineup on the field. Probably the, the, the two guys that'll make the biggest impact that transferred in are Tommy Scavoni, right-handed pitcher. Um, and Lincoln Oriana, he can play first base, he can play outfield. Again, left-hand hitter, had a tremendous fall for us. Uh, can hit for average, can hit for power, good eye at the plate. Um, and then the, the main newcomer that had a tremendous fall, hit with power, was Jack Basir. He can play third, he can play second, he can play first. And I would expect him to start opening weekend. And. Uh, He's a guy that's just going to keep getting better as well. I think the culture on our team this year is very good. We have some good senior leadership. Ryan Johnson, Grant Chain, Greg Melhoff, along with uh, the pitchers that I've mentioned. And uh, I just challenge them to be good leaders every day and, and to be good people on and off the field and uh, make the program proud. And, and our goal this year is to, to win a conference championship and get to the regionals and super regionals and beyond. And uh, with these guys senior leadership, I, I think that is absolutely attainable. And I'm looking forward to watching them play this year.